Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about Taylor series expansion of multivariable function. And I will uh, try to give you an intuitive understanding of it. So let's talk about it. So for this discussion, I will limit myself uh, to just only two variable cases, which you can see z is a function of x and y. And 2x squared plus y squared this is an example of it. So basically you have two independent variables x and y and one depend on dependent variable z. So if you wanted to Taylor series expansion of it, you need to, uh, for the first term, you need to determine the function at a fixed point a comma b. For the second term, you need to determine the derivative of the function at those fixed point and multiply with x minus n, y minus b. And for the third term, you need to determine the second derivative of it. And it goes on like this. So uh, I hope everyone has uh, a good understanding of it. So let's move to the graphical representation. Okay, so I bring up this beautiful surface to you to explain Taylor series expansion. And as you have uh, two independent variables, you actually end up with having a, just a surface. And surface can be represented graphically. If it has three variables, independent variables, it's really difficult to explain. So uh, the equation this surface follows is this, where your z equal cos y multiplied by sin x. So for each and each and every x and y, you have a specific z. So uh, as we are talking about Taylor series expansion, let's talk about those fixed point, a comma b. So this is your fixed point for this example. Your a equals 0 0.5, your b equal 1. So your x equals 0 0.5 and b equal 1. So you can think of it as like you are standing at that target point and, and you are watching the surface from your location and you are basically constructing the surface from your location using Taylor series expansion. So the target point is just where you are standing at. If you look up, you can get the height at that target point. It is something like this. If you go some far away from it, which is x minus a away from your location, the target point along x-axis, you reach to one, another coordinate. You also move along y-axis, which is y minus b, and you move to another coordinate and for that coordinate you have another z so this x minus a and y minus b you see here is analogous to the same x minus and y minus b in the equation this is this basically represent the distance along x and y axis away from your target point or fixed point a comma b let's do the taylor series expansion We'll first do the first expansion, the first term. In the first term, it's just the height, as you can see, which is a constant value. So if you do the first expansion, you end up having a surface like this. So you just plug your A and B into the equation, you get the height and you construct the surface, which looks like this. And as you can see, it's really very bad representing a surface because it's a constant surface. It just gives you a constant height. So it doesn't help us at all. So we will move forward and do the second expansion and see how does it help us. To do the second expansion, you need to determine the slope at the target point, a comma b, or the fixed point. So uh, if you know the analytical uh, equation already, you can just uh, determine the del, del del z of x and del del z of y analytically. But if you don't, you can do it numerically. You can use central difference, forward or backward difference to determine the slope at your fixed point. You multiply them with x minus a and y minus b and you get the second expansion. So in this case, uh, I have done it using analytical case. So doing that, you end up having a surface like this. So if you see the equation at the top, 
z equal cos b multiplied by sin a minus cos a which is uh, the del del x of z evaluated at a comma b and also cos b and you also you have a minus x term and then you also have uh, the del del y of z evaluated at a comma b and you have b minus y term so as you have just x and y only you have a, you, you end up having a straight surface looks like this and it's evident that this surface actually represent your um, or this Taylor series expansion actually represents the data around your target point but if you go further away from your target point your data does not match okay so let's do the third expansion and see how it can help us so for third expansion you actually have an x minus a square term and y minus b square term and it actually fit your surface better than the second expansion as you can see from this graph but it's still not good enough but because of this square term you you do not have a straight surface like this you have a carved surface so let's do the fourth expansion and the fourth expansion looks like this as you can see it's far better than the previous but it's still not good enough but it's it is still fit better than the previous examples because you just added more term on it so it looks like this as this equation I have used to construct a surface as a cos and sine term you actually need to have infinite terms to exactly fit uh, this surface we can also do the fifth expansion and the feet would get more better so i hope everyone enjoyed thanks for watching